to me that much. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a bikini because you guys requested it. So make sure to keep on watching to know how to do it step by step. piece of fabric and this is a remnant this is a polyester fabric and um, if you guys want to check out my uh, store I actually have a store where I sell fabric and clothes and such so if you want to check that out make sure to uh, check that out on the description box and make sure when you lay the fabric it's stretching horizontally like so make sure it's stretching like that because if it stretches the other way, you're not going to be able to, like, when you actually put it on, either, not really the top, but the bottom, it won't stretch and it won't really stay on your body. So make sure it stretches horizontally. First, we're going to start with the top. And I'm going to be showing you guys the easiest way that I think and the best way it's going to turn out so it doesn't look all like you actually did it in, like, two seconds. So we're going to take a little bit of time. So first, you're going to need a chalk and you're going to lay your bikini top right on top. First you're going to be, you actually only need to work with one of these because obviously they're the same. So you're going to be tracing one of these and I'm going to allow about half an inch from all the areas and about one inch from right here. So you're just going to trace it exactly the same and I'm going to allow about maybe like three-fourths of an inch. I'm going to be tracing it. So now that I have this traced out, I actually want four of these, so make sure to fold it enough so you have four. So just like that, and I actually have three, so I need one more. So just make sure to cut four of them out. So this is how it looks, and now I have four of them. And they look like so. There's two and two right here. And the next step is to sew. So you're going to be sewing all along from here to here. I'm going to leave about an inch right here. And you're going to do the same on this side. I'm going to be doing another mark. And you're going to stop sewing right here. And you're not, you're not going to sew right here. You're going to sew from here to here. And for the bottom part, you're going to be sewing as well all of this bottom portion we're going to be sewing all of this so this is how it looks and i've sewn let me um, explain to you one more time i sewed from here to here and i stopped so this i did not sew and i sewed from here to here and i did not sew from here to here so i didn't sew this or this and for the bottom part I sewed the entire bottom portion so the next step is to turn this inside out so what you're going to be doing is grabbing those little holes that you left and you're going to turn it inside out so this is how it looks now and now that you've turned it inside out and so this looks better and it doesn't because if you leave it like this it looks kind of weird so the next step is to actually sew on the edges of each of these sides so you're going to be doing the same thing like you just did but on the outside and remember to stop where you have those little holes because that's where you're actually going to be putting the elastic inside so make sure to sew from here to here and stop right here because this is where you're going to be putting in the elastic and you're going to be sewing from here all the way straight across and leave about one inch and you're not going to sew that portion that you had already and you're going to be doing the same thing on the bottom portion you're going to sew all from here to here and you're going to sew all the edges so this is how it looks up close and like you see I've sewn from here to here, from here to here, and this, these little holes right here are going to be where we're actually going to be putting our elastic, and then I sewed from here all the way to the bottom, and I did the same thing to the other one. 
So this is the elastic I'm going to be using and you can buy this at any fabric store. And you can see that this is a very thin elastic and I actually, and this is what I'm going to be putting down here in the inside, but before that I'm going to be sewing along straight across like so and I'm going to be sewing about what, half an inch above here. Just make sure it's enough room for your elastic to go in. We're going to be making like a little tunnel that's going to be going all along straight like so. So you're going to be sewing, remember that we had these little holes right here, so I'm going to be sewing from the this hole right here that I have right here. I'm going to be sewing like so, all the way like this to the other hole. And this is going to help us to put in our elastic inside and so it doesn't move when you actually place the elastic on the inside of the um, of this portion because if you just put it inside since you see that this is curved it's actually going the elastics just gonna go straight across like so so you need a little tunnel to put in the elastic so this is how it looks once I've sewn the little tunnel and like I said before this is where our elastics going to be going inside so it looks like so this is one and this is the other one so now we're going to be putting our elastic and connecting both of these together. So we're going to be putting one elastic through here. It's going to go like so. Out here inside of this one. And outside through right here. So the next step is to grab your elastic. And you can grab either a, clothes, a safety pin or a needle or a um, pin that has a big head on the, um, on the end just like just like this one. I'm going to be grabbing this needle and I'm just going to put it inside the little hole. I'm going to make a knot and then you're going to grab your bra and you're just going to insert it through the little tunnel that we just did. And you can even go through this because this is dull. And you're just going to be going like so. So this is how it looks and now I'm going to be cutting the end. I'm going to be letting them be quite long just in case. And now the next step is to add the top portion of the elastics. We're going to be using a thicker elastic on the top portion and all you're going to be doing is grabbing your elastic, placing it on the bottom and sewing a line straight across. And then you're going to cut this and then you're going to cut the elastic to whatever length you want it. And you're just going to do the same thing to the other side. So you're just going to place it on the bottom. Sew a line straight across right here and make sure to cut the elastic to whatever length you desire. So this is how it looks and I think it turned out really cool. Um, it looks like you actually took time to do it and when you put it on, of course, you can um, adjust it to however you like. So I think the, um, the top portion turned out awesome. And now we're going to be doing the bottom portion. This is, so this is the um, bottom that I'm going to be using as a guide for the black bottom. So now I have my piece of fabric laid on the floor and I have it folded twice and make sure it stretches like so horizontally because obviously you need this to stretch horizontally so make sure it stretches like so, like that. The next step is to trace along, all along the, um, the edge of the, of the bottom. So it looks like so. And if you guys want it exactly from both sides, you can fold it towards the middle and then cut it out. And I think that's what I'm going to be doing. So both sides are the same. So make sure to pin it down so the fabric doesn't move. I'm just going to be cutting the fabric, the portion that I'm going to be working on because there's no need to be working with a lot of it. So I'm going to be folding it in half 
make sure it's exactly in half so compare both sides so this is pretty much half and now I'm going to be cutting around what I just traced so this is how it looks once I've cut the bottom portion and I'm going to flip it like this now the next, don't worry if it's all um, cut kind of weird, like ragged on the bottom, because you won't be seeing that. So the next step is to actually sew. So we're going to be sewing along straight across, not here, not this straight line, but you're going to be cutting, cutting, you're going to be sewing along right here, on the other side as well. You're going to be sewing along this portion right here as well. And you're going to be sewing along this portion as well. What you're not going to be sewing is right here. Right here. You're not going to be sewing right here. This straight line. And right here. So this is how it looks once I've sewn it. And now we need to turn it inside out. This is how it looks once I turned it and now the next step is to sew along right here straight curved like so you're gonna be doing the same to this side and make sure to sew on top as well like so so it doesn't look that weird because right now it looks kind of weird and you're gonna be doing the same thing you're gonna be sewing along straight across right here what you're not going to be sewing is these parts right here, both of these, and these parts as well. So this is how it looks once I've sewn it, and it looks way better now. It looks more put together. So, in the, so the next step is to add the side strings, and I'm also going to be adding the same black elastic. And if you happen to have a thick elastic, you can just put... um one on each side but I happen to have very thin elastic so I will be putting two elastics on each side two 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 and two right here and the basic thing you're gonna be doing is grabbing your elastic and placing it inside of that little hole that we have that we did not sew so make sure to place them in there so this is how it turned out. I think it turned out really cute and simple. These bikinis are very versatile, especially a black a bikini. And I really like the sides, how you can tie it. It looks very sexy along the sides. Um, and if you guys have any more video requests, any more bikini-oriented um, DIYs, make sure to comment down below and check out my new blog, damabiloba.com. I'll be writing it right here. So you guys check it out. And I just did it like a couple of weeks ago. So thank you guys so much for watching as always. I hope you have an awesome day and I'll see you guys next time.